Nah, sis, you know it don't be snowing. It be hot. So playing. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? My name is Tay, and welcome back to my channel, Inspire Me, where I talk about current or relatable topics, all from a godly perspective. And today's topic is called, Are You Really Ready for 2021? Now, what prompted me to talk about this is um, this go to scripture that I read on... Um, yeah, I thought about this. So it's going to come from, just read the whole book of Matthew 24th chapter. But I'm not going to read all of this because this is too long. But I'm just going to read verse 3 through 14. Alright, and it says, um, okay. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? Now, I know a lot of y'all, well, a lot of people probably heard people saying, oh, the, the end of the world is going to be, um, oh, this year, or oh, it's going to be this such and such, or uh, some people just don't know or just don't even, you know, care, just go about doing their own thing. Now, for the people prophesying and or prophet lying, saying that we're going to come to an end such and such. Nobody knows the time because here in the Bible it says that somewhere on this verse, not verse, on this chapter, um, yeah, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not angels of heaven, but my Father only, not even Jesus Christ. You feel me? So, will you predict that, that oh, when the world comes to an end? That's pretty much false advertisement and wickedness, you feel me, of Antichrist. Also, too, for the ones who be saying, um, who don't even care, you feel me, just go along with life with like, you know, not even caring, just doing their own thing. That's still a sin also because y you got to be prepared, you feel me. It's also in the Bible where, um, I think it was five virgins, five foolish ones and five, um, you know, smart ones, and the ones that was wise, they um pretty much trimmed their their lamps. You feel me? They was prepared ahead of time. The bridegroom came, y'all, <laughs> and they pretty much had their lamps, and they went inside and shut the door. So the ones who didn't have their lamps, they tried to um get prepared at the last minute when they heard the bride bridegroom was you know there, and it was too late. So when they tried to go to the door. You feel me? It was pretty much shut on their face and they can't come in. And the Bible says there was gnashing of teeth, meaning that he was trying to use that parable like, you feel me? If you went to the last minute, those who don't got their, their soul saved are not even trying to seek God. When you think that the, when the world comes to end, you think you're going to make it in and say, oh God, help me. You feel me? There's going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth, You mean, meaning you know what's going to happen. So yeah. Yeah, just just to get into this, so yeah, the disciples came to Jesus and pretty much was asking him like, "When is the end of the world gonna come? What's the what's the um the sign that the end of the world is coming?" So this is what Jesus said, and Jesus answered and said unto them, "Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many." Now a lot of times I look at um prophecies, I guess, on here. Um, not to say some of them aren't accurate. Some of them are accurate. However, I said in another video, if you're not telling about the warnings of Christ as well as the blessings, then I can't follow that, that prophecy because if you're just telling about good things, oh, you're going to get a house, or you're going to get blessed with a marriage, or you're going to get this, but no other times I ever see you talk about any warnings, you got to look at that. You feel me? You got to look at that. So a lot of times... People are be false, false prophets. You feel me? Not everybody. I know a lot of people that are true men and women of God, but some people are false, and they got you. Got to look at it like, hmm. Especially if I see um, a video that I always say, "In the mighty name of Yeshua" or something like that. You, you can't say in the mighty name of Jesus. I also got another video where it talks about if you're saying Yeshua and Yash, your way up. Whatever the name is, you feel me? Now, I um, use different words to describe Jesus because he wants us to, but 
his his main name is Jesus Christ. You know, our Father Jesus Christ. If you say in the mighty name of Yeshua, and you always say that in almost every video, or even if it's just one video, you just keep saying that. Yeah, I, I got to click off. You feel me? Because you ain't the person I need to listen to. You feel me? So yeah. But they was asking, you know, Jesus, and Jesus said, "Take no man. Sorry, take heed that no man deceive you." So I'm telling y'all. Don't be deceived. Listen to prophecies. You feel me? Sometimes, even though people could say, you know, Jesus or this and that, and it sounds say, say all the good things you feel me, that you want to hear, but believe me, you all know. You feel me? And a lot of times, too, a lot of people like to say, oh, like my um message, um, you know, the video. If you're doing the video, like it ahead of time. No, I'm gonna like your video after all I listen to it. You feel me? Because just because your title is about Jesus, don't mean what you're saying is accurate. So yeah, I'm not gonna like it. You feel me? I'm not gonna like it at first. You feel me? And it says, and ye shall hear of of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. We heard of wars. Even long ago, World War One, World War Two, that was years ago. You feel me? Also, for nation shall rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in dire places. We heard about earthquakes in different places, you know, California, different things. We heard about that. Also, where it says there should be famines. Now, when I heard famines at first, I was thinking that you know, famine of food. But when I looked up the um definition. A family, a family could be a scarcity or a lack of anything. You feel me? Now you realize when we had this pandemic, the, the coronavirus, there was scarcity of tissue, of hand sanitizer. When you went to stores, you couldn't even find them things. Like even right now, um, even though it got a whole lot better with stocking up, but I probably haven't even been looking. But I still haven't found no Lysol, y'all. <laughs> you know the Lysol spray. Maybe I just don't look or even buy a look when I go to the store no more. But I still haven't found a since this pandemic went about. You feel me? So a famine could be anything. You feel me? A scarcity of things. Also, when it says there's going to be um pestilences. So I looked up the definition of pestilences. Those are, it said pandemic or epidemic. Are we in a pandemic? Isn't this coronavirus a pandemic? You feel me? It says... All these things are the beginning of sorrows. So that's how you know we're starting to last in the evil days. This is the beginning. Now I know some people might say, oh, um, I can't wait till 2021 get here. Oh, I can't wait till we get another president. It's going to be so much better than 2020. Um, as you see here in the Bible, this is just the beginning of sorrows. Who's to say that next year will be even better? You feel me? The only way it will be better for you is the ones who got Christ. You feel me? And it's not saying that all trouble is going to go away and, you know, just you're going to have a blissful life. It just means that whatever you're faced with, God will comfort you and provide a way for you. You feel me? What hurts other people and some people can't deal with, you feel me? It's not going to be the exact same with you. I see some people that say, like, it's a bad tragedy about 2020. I'm not talking about, you know, the ones with the, you know, people family passed away. But I'm just talking about people who can't go out to parties. So, I remember this day when I used to be able to go out. And and I'm like, you mad about that? So, like I said, certain things that upset certain people, it won't really face you if you're in, if you're in Christ. Also, okay, I'm not going to read all this, but just go down to... Verse 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Now, that's when the end going to come. Now, when he say um, all the nations, it's America, it's as well as different other countries, you feel me? Now, we don't know exactly when the whole message is going gonna, is gonna to be preached to the whole you know, world, you feel me? However, you have to be prepared. Like I told you, with the virgins, the I think the five wise virgins or, and the five foolish virgins or something like that, you feel me? You got to be prepared. Don't wait till the last minute and thinking that you got all the time in the world. You feel me? 
like I said, read all of uh, Matthew's the 24 chapters. It's actually, what, 51 verses? <laughs> so make sure you read that on your own time. But for then shall, I'm sorry, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not seen since the beginning of the world, to the time nor to the time ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, and woe unto them that are with child and to them that get suck in those days. Now what that pretty much is saying when we are in the actual like this is the beginning of SARS, but we're when we're actually in that time, he's pretty much saying, I feel sorry for those one who are pretty much nursing or pregnant because you know when you're pregnant it's like you got to eat certain stuff for your, your baby to be healthy. Even when your baby comes to the world, it's like, I got to provide for my child so my child can eat. Who don't want their child to, you know, eat? You feel me? So it's like, I feel sorry. And then a lot of times, people, if they don't want certain stuff to happen to them or their child, it's like, they might take the mark of the beast. You feel me? And pretty much that means if you sow your soul to Satan and... You're not going to make it to heaven. You feel me? So it's like, oh, you can't say, oh, God, I, I had to um, feed my child. Oh, I was um, nursing or this and that. Because God don't want to hear it. So you feel me? I'm not saying don't, don't get pregnant or anything like that. But I'm just saying just be mindful of that. You know, you're going to need formula for your baby. That's what I'm trying to say. If you don't have like a sickness to the point where you can't breastfeed your baby, Learn how to breastfeed, you feel me? You don't have to even have to buy formula, you feel me? I think I said on the video a long time ago. Hopefully, if I remember, I'll um, link it also. But, um, yeah, learn how to breastfeed, you feel me? You don't have to go out and buy formula or anything like that. Breastfeed your child, you feel me? Like I said, if nothing wrong with you, to the point where you breastfeed, then um, learn how to breastfeed your child, you feel me? Don't depend on formula and different things like that because... It's going to be to the point where times where they're going to um, pretty much implement that um, mark of the beast. And if you have a um, a sign on your forehead or your right hand, you feel me? And I think, I'm not sure, it probably didn't happen yet, thank God. But this vaccination, they should make a lot of people, you feel me, take, take heed. You feel me? Take heed.